this is really unique. This is something, this is something special for sure. This is incredible. This like gravel network is sort of like the ultimate version of a rail trail. Yeah. You know, like where a rail trail, you're, you're generally going pretty straight. It's a there and back. It's a there and back. And this, you have just so many choices of loops and scenery. This is awesome. I mean, this is probably the coolest experience I've had on a bicycle. I feel like I say that almost every time I ride, but. Water from the mountains flowing into the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. riding for like maybe a total of 10 minutes and we've stopped probably 10 times. I think the only way to experience a place like this is either on your feet or on a bicycle. We've watched people kind of pull up in their cars and they just kind of pull up, roll through, keep going and it's like you're only getting a fraction of the of the feeling that this place gives you. I I'm in awe. I've been to the Grand Canyon, I've been to other national parks and there's something much more dramatic about the coastline and the and the waves and the the wind and the like the smell of the air man i love the ocean acadia is a really special place and if you haven't been here put it on your list So down here is the road that we were just on, the uh, Park Loop Road. And then we just came up this little path. Came up this little path right here. And now we're on a network of gravel carriage roads from way back in the 17 and 1800s that they have maintained. And it's, a, it's basically a gravel bike network. How sweet is that? I like the way you hung When you're gonna feel so blue Yeah, I like the way you hung me This is neat for beer uh -huh. How you doing? Uh -huh. Got slightly aggressive there is white caps out on this little lake. I'm not sure what lake this is or pond. Wow. This is gorgeous. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a bottle. Spin me all across for. So these are all the signs that tell you where to go on what gravel road, all these different spots. I would call this a peak experience. Uh, in life is to ride a bike through a national park like this that has a mix of wilderness, mountains, ocean, beautiful villages, beautiful towns. I don't think you could get much better, honestly, so my heart is just resting in gratitude. I think we're gonna do more so just in these videos, just letting the scenery speak for itself. I'll check in with you guys here and there, but other than that, I think the scenery can speak much more. Uh, eloquently than I can. Sing your songs on. Look at this big rock slide. God, this is amazing. Wow, what a view. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Yes, 
cool. This is sweet. And I'll stay and I'll grow gray. Back on gravel heaven. The marshy, boggy areas are always like have more color first. Beautiful. signs of fall. <laughs> See, get it because the lambs will flop through and throw <laughs> the ocean. Get it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, so now we just got on to some, I don't know what this is. <laughs> we did an audible on this route a couple times and now we're on this like paved path. There's no cars allowed, just foot traffic and bicycles. It's beautiful. Paved path was short, but we're back on Park Loop Road and we're ripping down this hill. So it's a nice glide, nice coast. We're almost back to the campground. Ready to chill, make a fire, have some food, shower. 